Envita Health and Wellness, where you can feel your best both inside and out. Envita isn't your typical med spa. They're a multi-specialty medical spa and wellness center serving St. Louis and its surrounding areas. They have ketamine for mental health and pain, IV therapy, medical weight loss, and aesthetics treatments. As board-certified anesthesia providers, Envita can ensure that their advanced treatments are provided safely with minimal to no pain. So let Envita take care of you. Call 314-394-0950 to book an appointment or online at VitaHealthAndWellness.com. All right, everybody, let me know if you can see me now. I have no idea if that, uh, which is strange because I'm on a hard line, but tell me if you all can see me now because, again, I can see myself and I can hear. Good morning from Colorado, Abby. Good morning to you. Happy Ash Wednesday and Valentine's Day. Somebody said, here we go. Okay, now you can see me. That's the weirdest thing ever. Carrie just said, where's Monica? But I believe you all can see. Yes, I, you can see me. Okay, let's start the show all over. Why don't we do that? Very strange of why you weren't supposed to see me in the first five minutes of the show. I guess you couldn't hear me either. That's so very weird. Anyway, how crazy. I saw myself. I could hear myself and everything. But uh, now, yeah, there I am. But I've been here for you all along. I would never not be here for you. You can always guarantee that. Well, I'm glad that Michelle was able to send me a text and say, where are you? I'm like, what do you mean? I'm right here. Happy Valentine's Day. Let's start the show all over this morning. Wear your red today. It is Wednesday. It's February 14th. And I'm going to give you the what the weather, what, what the heck is going on in the universe today. We're going to talk about love. We're talking self-love. We're talking about relationships. But remember, when we talk about relationships, do you automatically in your mind go to romantic relationships? Or do you think about all the levels of the relationships that you have? That's what I want to do today. I I want you also to think about who are your greatest role models in the world of romantic relationships. I want you to think about your greatest role models when it comes to who a person is as a friend to you, who a person is as a sibling to you. You have your favorites. Okay. What I want you to do is think about what is it in their characteristic, in their fiber of being that gets you drawn into them so much? Let's talk about all those levels, but it all really starts. And one of the biggest themes I want you to get across today in the message is you have to love yourself first or else no one around you can truly love you the way that you are meant to be loved. Good morning. I had trouble getting in today. That's what Hats by Diane says. Diane Isbell, congratulations to you yesterday, by the way. Happy Valentine's, everybody. Evidently, it was something very strange on my end. I looked down. I was like, did it? so I don't know if you all know this, but when I was in television during the pandemic and we had to broadcast from home, my dog just decided to lay down by her mom's feet and start chewing on the cord that had me go live and had no idea. And then all of a sudden, kind of like today, which is why I was looking down. Is that Not again. And I looked down. Nope. The dogs are nowhere near me and the cord is all intact. I have no idea. That was the weirdest thing. Okay. Now it's telling me I have low bandwidth again. Um, uh, it's saying it's a decrease of quality. Interesting. I, all right. How about this? We're going to take a break. I might reattach everything and come back on to you. Someone said you were letting the dogs out and doing your Valentine's. <laughs> nope. Um, okay. You were frozen, but I could hear you. Can you all still see okay? I'm not sure why. I am not on Wi-Fi. I am directly into my line, but uh, I almost want to run downstairs and see if the dogs are up to some mischief. I want to talk about love. I want you to wear red today. I mentioned, but you probably didn't hear all of this, uh, you were freezing up for a second or two. Okay. Yeah. And I'm hoping that goes away. Um, <laughs> my mind is all over the place because I can't believe this is happening. You can see fine. Yes, you're okay. Okay. Everybody. Good morning. Good morning. It just feels so discombobulated. And that's the hard thing about, um, you know, doing the show solo, not having a team around you and then having to people have to do it remote. So God love Michelle moderating for us and keeping us abreast of What's happening? Because I can't see what you're seeing since on my end, it looks okay. You're welcome, Diane. Congratulations. So here's the deal. Today, not only are we going to give the ultimate VIP package away, 
<laughs> at least I think we're going to. If you can hear me all the way throughout the end of the show, you can see. Okay, lady in red, you look beautiful. Thank you. I just want you all to wear red today because it is Valentine's. Ash Wednesday. Oh, I mentioned that at the beginning, but I don't know what you all heard and what you didn't. So I'm going to start over and tell you that today is a day where you can go to full-blown services or a lot of churches, which is really super cool. A lot of churches give you the opportunity to come in, get a blessing. It's a drive-by Ash Wednesday. You get your ashes and then you can go on to work or to school or wherever your day will take you. And that's an opportunity for you to get the blessing that you want on this Ash Wednesday. Yes, it's combined Ash Wednesday and Valentine's Day. So what does that mean? A lot of you that are going out to lunch, maybe happy hour or dinners, most likely a lot of people eating seafood. You know, we talked yesterday about a lot of restaurants loading up on more seafood. I absolutely will be eating seafood. But then again, that's not a stretch for me because that's one of my favorite things to do. So let's give you the weather because I don't think any of you heard this. The models have changed. So when I said the possibility of rain coming in on Friday or snow or maybe a mixture, well, I was watching uh, KMOV Channel 4 this morning and their forecast is now showing some colder air moving in south and what that mean what that means for us is that we could have more snowfall so the precipitation on friday could be more in the form of snow than rain how much that all depends, but the early models are showing anywhere from a tracing to up to three inches. And then it's also all about when is it moving in on Friday? Could it be a little earlier, which then would create a problem for the morning commute? Well, we are all heading over to St. Charles Convention Center for the big Working Women's Show, the 37th annual Working Women's Show. And yesterday, we gave away tickets to the VIP package and today, we're going to give away the ultimate VIP. So I'm going to give you 45 more minutes to enter in to the ultimate VIP package. And I'm going to give you the rundown of what that looks like. How do you enter to win? You just go to that website right there, therealmonicaadams.com. This is 37 years that they've been holding this. And the celebrity on the main stage, excuse me, on Saturday will be Allison Arngrim, better known, of course, as Nellie Olson. You know her, you love her from Little House on the Prairie. They're celebrating the 50th year. Can you believe this? 50 years since Little House on the Prairie came out. So she's going to talk all about her days, of course, on set, all the fun things that she talked to us about when we interviewed her a couple weeks ago. But I'd love for you to see her and us. We're going to have our big meet and greet on Friday evening. I will be speaking on the main stage before Allison at 1.30. She'll speak at 2 o'clock. And then on Sunday, they're going to have a Who's Doing the Cooking and they're going to have a chef's table. You can either opt for sitting at the chef's table or you can do a fun makeover. So the ultimate VIP package we're going to give away today is valued at over $200. Exclusive invitation again to that meet and greet that will be held Friday evening. So please make sure that you're available. A three-day pass. So if you want to go to the Working Women's Show Friday and Saturday and Sunday, you'll have the opportunity to do so. A private VIP entrance to avoid the ticket lines. You get a souvenir link lanyard, members only raffle ticket to the little house gift basket, an exclusive pre-show registration for again, a seat at the chef's table or a makeover on the beauty stage. You get an enhanced VIP swag bag, some VIP lounge benefits, and an exclusive discount coupon packet with special discounts that you can use all weekend long. So if you win, please be available to go to this, okay? I don't want you to win and then it, it doesn't get used. So yesterday, Diane won a three-day pass to the show, the private VIP entrance, the lanyard, the swag bag, the lounge benefits, the discount coupon. The only thing she didn't get was the meet and greet on Friday and then the chef's table. So I hear some of you are getting an opportunity to register right now. I'm going to be asking Michelle to pick a winner for a few things today. We've got not only the ultimate VIP, VIP package that we're giving away, which again is valued at over $200. We also are going to give away a Valentine's gift basket. And this is to our friends. Thank you so much, by the way, to those at Sugar Loaf Farms. All of that going to you. Look at all that goodie bag. I love it. They have all these really beautiful natural products. And we use a lot of their soaps. You can go to sugarloaffarmbees.com. They've got their own bees. What is included in this? You get their top selling honey almond soap with a honeycomb glycerin topper a honey almond shave bar, a honey almond lotion bar, sugar scrub and body butter, both in the honey almond, two honey base lip balms, cherry pie and wild 
Dogberry. And of course, all that wrapped up in a nice fun gift bag with a loofah bag and a soap. It is going to be for one of you. So we'll have that. And then yesterday we gave away tickets to the big event that's going to be held at My Lee on Monday, February 22nd. Julie Purcell had won. Unfortunately, she says she cannot go. So guess what that means for you? More winning on the table. So are you ready for it? All you have to do is go to therealmonicaadams.com. We will pull a winner in the next 45 minutes. After we talk a little love today, I'm going to give away the ultimate VIP package as the final gift. We'll give away the Sugarloaf Farms gift basket, and we'll give two tickets away. But please, each and every one of you that win, don't register if you are not able to use these. I want to make sure these are used. So the last, again, will be the VIP package, Sugarloaf Farm package, and then the two tickets to the 15th anniversary event with STL Wine Girl, all that inclusive food, drinks, fun, education, all of that to be held on Monday, February 22nd at Miley starting at six o'clock. So there you go. Uh, Carrie, you are already in the running. Hello. All right. If you've already registered, you register again. Nope. Uh, Valentine's is my favorite holiday, Rose says. Take the opportunity to let those you love and appreciate know them. Exactly. You've got to communicate. I have people say they hate the day because they don't have a significant other. All right. That's exactly why I'm doing today's show, because here's what I want everyone to be aware of. The people who are not in relationships, they say they hate hate this day. I mean, they loathe this day. It is one of the least favorite days for them because they're so sick and tired of watching people hold hands. They're tired of seeing people kiss each other, um, public display of affection, the cards, the chocolates, the flowers, the gifts. Why so much hate? Why not feel so happy for those around you that have found the love? Or hopefully they're actually in a great relationship and they're not just faking it, right? You never know what goes on behind closed doors. There's a door. Wait, where's the door? Behind those doors. What happens behind those doors? Well, I hope it's authentic. I hope it's real. I hope it's not a put on. And look, it's not all about the Hallmark movies. Really, for me, I look at some of the greatest love stories around me, and it's more so what they've gone through. Oh, I just got chill when I said that. It's more so of what they've endured. It's more so the communication and the respect that they have. I want you to be happy for them because they stuck it out, right? When kids come into play, many times it could divide a family. I'm hoping it brings it closer together. Together. My One of my favorite younger couples right now, and I hope they get a chance to see this. Michelle will probably tag them. Brock Wilson and Brittany Wilson. The love the two of you have, oh, it can move mountains. The, the amount of love that Brock puts out and Brittany does, but more so because guys, they think they'll get made fun of. Brock just gushes about how much he loves Brittany. The two of them own Force Performance in Brentwood. I want you to follow them on Instagram or Facebook or whatever. They're getting ready to have a baby girl in less than two months. And, you know, one of the things that Brock, you, you hopefully had a chance to see them on my show. Brock has gone through a lot in his life, a lot of depression, a lot of mental health illness, um, survived many things. Let's just leave it at that. And he never saw this life playing out. So when we talk about hating, it starts with hating yourself. It starts with not believing that you deserve more. It starts with you not knowing your value, right? These, by the way, are wonderful. Know your value. I didn't do this on purpose, but your Know Your Value journals will be available not only online, which they are right now, but at uh, the St. Louis Women Show, the Working Women Show this weekend. So that I want all of you to carry around men, women, kids, boys, girls, grandmas. I don't care what age you are so that you know that you know your value and you'll stop the hate. You'll stop the hate in the world. You'll stop the divide in the world. There's so many aspects of that that take place. Look, I turned the news on this morning, which is something I wasn't doing for a long time, but I thought, all right, I'll give you the news that you can use. And I was hard pressed to find anything that I thought you really wanted to know, because all I heard about was an officer that was shot. Fortunately, he is recovering and he'll be okay. But that happened in the city as he was trying to break up some uh, sus subjects that were breaking into cars. They shot at him. This was an off-duty officer. So prayers for that officer and his family and, of course, his brothers and sisters in law enforcement. Uh, also, there was an accident where people were hit and cars were hit and all of this happening in our city. And it's frustrating, is it not? It's frustrating because there's no love between each other and it's just so casually okay. One of the things that the guys uh, with Grunt Style talked about, if you remember that particular interview, one of my favorites from 2023, was the divide that we have in the world and that it's okay in people's minds to have polarization and tribalization and killing. I mean, that's really what's happening. And when you turn on the news, that's all you're hearing. When you turn on this show, it's 
finding a way for you to know that you're okay. If you're not okay, that there are organizations and people who truly do care out there. There are psychologists, there are psychiatrists, there are counselors, there are life coaches, myself. Please seek that out because if you can't say that you love yourself, then we got to dig deep. We got to find a way for you to understand that you need to, because otherwise your whole life is just going to feel worthless. Your whole life is going to feel like you have no purpose. And there's where it all starts. I mean, trust me, I've been doing this for a long time. I have been life coaching before life coaching was a thing with my clients that I've been training over the last 30 years. They, and I feel blessed for this. They go very, very deep with me into why they've been suffering through the life that they've been suffering. And what does that usually look like? It usually looks like them looking in the mirror and just beating themselves up. They look at their mirror and they see themselves as ugly. They see themselves as fat. They use these words, attack words against themselves. So as I said, today's theme, yeah, it's fun. It's the Hallmark holiday everybody talks about. They're at wearing red. You're drinking out of red cups. You got red hearts. The kids go to school. You tell the kids to, do they still do that, by the way? Do they still do little cute Valentines? Do they bring little sweet? I mean, I don't know anymore. The things that you can and can't bring to school, the political correctness of our society of what you can and can't do, uh, the unbelievable allergies that kids have, which is just crazy. I mean, we all brought whatever to school and there wasn't an issue. And now it's, you can't bring this because this kid has this allergy and this has this and you just leave it all at home. What still exists in our world anymore that looks and even resembles closely to what we all knew growing up? And for those of you that are in the younger generation, welcome aboard, by the way. Please help to change this world for the better. It starts with you. You have to love yourself. All right. Greatest message I can ever get across because that's the beginning of the aha awakening. That's your rebirth. I don't care when you were born. I don't care what age you are. At any given point in life, you can become the best version. You can become the best version of you simply by the steps that you take today, right now, this very second to start loving yourself more. And that's what I want for all of us. Because if everybody walked around hating themselves, how in the world do you think anybody's going to ever let anybody into their heart? How are you ever going to have communication? How will you ever look each other in the eye and say, oh, I want to talk to you. You might be somebody that I might let into my heart as a friend. And I've got somebody right now that I'm coaching. Uh, she's, uh, she's 21 years old. Love her. She said that every Monday when I talk to her in the afternoon, it's the highlight of her week. She can't wait till we pop on together. Do you know what that means for me? For someone who's 30 years, her senior, that she has such a connection with me that she can't wait for that moment. Why? Well, because I've taught her to love herself again. I've taught her to trust the horrible things that she's been through in her life. I've taught her to learn to trust again, because when the person and people hurt her in the past, she shut down. She said, I have commitment issues, Monica. I have trust issues. Well, rightfully so. Until someone steps in and gives you the okay, right? So much of life, we're waiting for permission. Waiting for permission to say, we want to love again. Waiting for permission to say that we're worthy. Okay, you hear a lot about knowing your worth. Mine very much more so connected with the word value. What is your intrinsic value? I mean, I've got so much that I want you to answer today. My very first question, though, is answer this honestly. Do you love yourself? hear the quiet. And this is what I would do when I'm speaking. And we're going to speak on Saturday. And I'm going to ask all these questions because there are so many people in your path that will be thrown in your way that will try to say, you're not, you're stupid, you're fat, you're ugly. You don't fit the norm. You don't belong in this organization. You don't belong in this group. All those levels happen I don't care what age, as a kid, I mean, people always say the kids are the meanest, they're bullies. Yeah, they don't know any better. Hopefully they're guided at home. Hopefully they're parented better. Hopefully the education system sits them down and says, you can't do this. We've got to stop it early on. Stop it and then start it. Stop the hate and the bullying and what you see on the playground and what you see in school. Why don't you teach your kids to be one that steps up and changes the game? changes the narrative, doesn't follow along, but actually can find their own voice. Sure, it's scary because it's so easy to follow along. It's so easy to just go with the gang. I was always the one, and I have to thank my mom and dad, which I'm going to get into that part of the relationship. I have to thank my mom and dad for saying, stand out, be a leader, don't follow. She used to talk about one of my best friends growing up and she's like, Monica, all she is is a follower. She doesn't have the guts. And it was true. Even though I loved that friend so much, I started to watch as I got older. Holy cow, it's true. And now as I, I haven't seen her in years, but as I had heard, it was pretty much withdrawing. She was a popular person in school. 
But I saw the uh, humor. A lot of people put on humor to put on a mask so that you don't really see themselves, right? They don't dare want you to see what's really inside. They're scared by that. So many times, I think of comedians, the reason why they're so funny is so they can put the mask on so you don't really see who they are because they don't love themselves. Something went wrong at some point and they decided to take on that persona so that they hid from who they really were. Well, today's message is let's stop hiding you be real. Whatever your name is watching today from wherever in the world, take your name and put the real in front of it. We're going to start a movement of real, authentic selves. If we get more into that, dig more into that, trust me, world will change. There's no way it can't. I know it sounds like I have the answers to how to heal our world. I'm just hoping that I'm chipping away. At least if I affect one of you, guess what happens? It is then this movement that's been created. It's this effect that we have on this world that everywhere you go today and in days to come, that suddenly you feel better about yourself. That suddenly you are treating people different. But it starts with you looking in the mirror right now. And if you haven't yet, maybe you're just getting out of bed. Good morning, sleepyhead. Get up. Brush your teeth, look yourself in the mirror, and start using kind words. So here's where I'm going to ask. What could you say to yourself today that changes the course of your future, your present, and even the history? I'm going to ask you that. That's gonna, we're going to put it that way. So I have two questions for you right now, if you're willing to answer. Do you love yourself, honestly? And what words could you start using right now with you, with your kids, if you're blessed with kids, your grandkids, your nieces, your nephews, whoever, what words could you give them and give yourself to start truly changing how life is going to look with those around you, which by the way, is our world. It's who you choose to surround yourself with. And then that's your world. And then that world is spread. Okay. That's what we need today. Welcome aboard, by the way, The Real Monica Adams Show. We're getting real on this day of love. It's time for you to answer. Think about this. When's the last time you called your doctor at 2 o'clock in the morning and he actually answered? Well, at Innovare Health Advocates, their patients are special. Their doctors, nurse practitioners, their care team care deeply about your health, your family, your work, and even your pet. Their clinicians are accessible and they lead your care in and out of the hospital. In fact, Dr. Charles Willie offers his cell phone number to his patients to ensure they can intervene early in your illness. They can provide care above and beyond, offering lab, x-ray, echocardiogram, and other treatments in their office. Innovare Health Advocates with five locations on both sides of the river. Check them out, InnovareHealth.com. We need women to lift women up. Let's do that. Let's go. Being on Monica's show, it was like one of the best interviews I've ever had. Monica's very real and um, she really cares about people She's changing lives. Changing lives. I think this is just really what people want to see. Giving back so much to the community, and I really appreciate it. Today, Monica was extraordinarily real, not only with me, but with her viewers and her listeners. Made the interview process like talking to a friend. How are you doing? Good to see you. I haven't well. seen you in a few weeks. Hey. Hey! Yeah, that, oh, you're oh, close! Monica! Monica! Yeah. <laughs> Whoa! So go out in this world and be anything you want to be. But before you do that, first, be kind. Yeah, let's go. A half hour into the show, well, maybe 20 minutes since for some reason you all didn't have me in the beginning. But happy Valentine's Day to you. What does this day look like? I don't want you to hate it. I mean, year in and year out. So how about today you change the way you have always felt about what you consider the hallmark day? I actually love this day. When I was in a relationship or out of a relationship, it never mattered. What I did was look around me and I had so much admiration for those who had the kind of love that I wanted. And I was unbelievably blessed for the man that I'm married to to come walking back into my life. We had the opportunity 
many, many years ago. It wasn't our time. God said, I need you to go and affect other people's lives and then I'll bring you back together. And oh, what a blessing that was. So Jim and I've been back together since 2012. And yes, he is the greatest love of my life. And I just got a chill when I said that. I love him dearly. Can't wait to celebrate Valentine's when he returns home this afternoon. I want you all to feel that. And if you're not in that type of relationship, well, find out why. Is it something that you're doing? Is it something that they're doing? Whatever the relationship looks like. But I don't want you to stay in something where someone belittles you or someone berates you, where someone tears you down and pulls the value out of you. It is time for you to be treated the way you deserve to be treated. And again, if other people around you are in what you consider to be the greatest love story of all time, don't be jealous. Love it. Surround yourself with it and try to draw it to your life. You know, the law of attraction, bring it into you. Because again, the more you start loving yourself, it glows on you. People see that you love yourself and they want to be a part of that naturally, whether it's a friendship love that builds into a relationship or it truly is always meant to be friends. Don't you feel blessed to have that? Let's turn the show over to you now. Let's see. Um, good morning and happy Valentine's. So, so many of you. Yes. Don't forget to draw. I got that already, Julie. Yes. Fasting today, Linda says, had my sweets last night. And a lot of people do that, right? They fast and they give something up for the next 40 days for Lent. Uh, I will wear pink. Okay. Valentine's is my favorite holiday. Take the opportunity to let those you love and appreciate know. I have people say they hate the day. And this is what we were going at. This is from Rose because they don't have a significant other. She said, stop that. Love yourself and know it's more than just for couples. I'm grateful for everyone in my life. That kind of gratitude. And that's really the way you end your day, right? That is what you should be saying. I'm grateful for this person, that person, this child, this senior. It's it's love. That's it. I mean, Valentine's Day is really just about love. It doesn't mean romantic love. I know the Hallmark cards turned it into that, but it really should just be a day of kind of... I I like to say resetting, resetting yourself of first saying, I wake up in the morning and I'm loving myself. I'm loving on me and then loving on everybody else and hopefully feeling that love back. Uh, if you have already registered, okay, we already read that one. Hello, ba ba ba. I think people love to hate. Yes, they do, Sherry. And we see that a lot on social media, don't we? Nobody wants, no, I shouldn't say nobody. A lot of people on social media, they don't want to see somebody happy. So they just want to tear them down. They try to get to you. Okay. It's, it's been done to all of us. They want to say they don't like your hair. They don't like your makeup. They don't like what you're wearing. They don't like the way your voice sounds, right? It's just their own insecurities. They might as well be the comedian that's masking themselves. They just want to throw shade because they want it not to be on them because God forbid they be seen for who they really are. And it's just hate filled. And who wants to be around that? Nobody wants to be around that. Sherry, you're so spot on. Uh, your flowers were beautiful. Thank you, Julie. And again, remember, it's never too late. I'm sure if you haven't ordered your flowers yet, she could probably get something together for you. Remember Sarah Ward and our dear friend at Wildflowers in Lafayette, wildflowersstl.com. If you don't have them for today, then remember anytime you are purchasing flowers for yourself and buy some, by the way. Today's not all about waiting for someone to give you flowers. Why wait? Buy them for you. You deserve it. Go buy yourself some flowers. Good morning. And it's an exciting day at Sugarloaf. I'm sure it is. I'm sure you're going to be really busy today. Happy Valentine's Day to you. It's not just a day for couples. It's the love you have for others. It's like family, Linda says. Uh, yes, I bet you and Jim can't wait for his retirement day. Yes, May 15th of 2025. I already have it. I'm going to circle it on a calendar. Prayers for Jim and all the officers and their families. Thank you for that. By the way, let me show you this. This is the only red cup I have. And I know one person in particular is going to love this. Don't mess with a princess. That's one side of it. And I've always been called a princess because I've always been into like girly stuff. And my my uh, best friend growing up, not my friend that I was talking about earlier, but my best friend from uh, college on, Julie's, Julie's always given me the nickname princess. She's like, okay, princess. But this is the other side. Look at it's Princess Leia. I know two people in particular that will love that aspect. Uh, but yeah, don't mess with the princess today. I love your shows. It is positive and motivated for the day. Thank you so much. Good morning. We get positive vibes here. Yes, you do, Orlando. And welcome aboard. I love men, women, children. I want everybody to be affected by this. So right here, I'm going to change what's scrolling on the bottom. Please remember to share and like and follow the live stream. Uh, right now, we are on Instagram. We are on X. We are on Facebook. And we are on YouTube. And so go ahead and say things to 
to us. I'm going to kind of bop back and forth and see if anybody's commenting on any of the other channels, because I love the fact that we are now on more platforms for you, at least on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. They're still trying to figure out what's wrong in the studio that we can't be on there on Mondays and Tuesdays, but we'll get that figured out. Uh, Monica, you're so inspirational. Thank you. We appreciate you. Sherry, I appreciate you. I mean, again, I, I appreciate all the love, but give it back to yourself. I'm going to take all the love and I'm going to push it back on you. I appreciate the flow between us. Again, if you didn't all sign in, uh, we wouldn't be here. And if it wasn't for these incredible sponsors, you, you of course know all about my love for Dr. Sarah Franco at Invita Health and Wellness and our gratitude to our title sponsor, but also to Dr. Charles Willie and Innovare Health Advocates. Again, I want you to be taken care of and loved on by a doctor who's going to give you the type of um, care that you need. And I don't know why you would go to a doctor that wouldn't. So I'm hoping that many of you have called him and switched to having him as your doctor. I know a handful of you said that you had appointments set up, but if you are still going along and have a doctor that you say doesn't care about you, make the change, make the change to several things. Take care of your body inside and out by Invita Health and Wellness. Have a doctor that cares by Innovare Health Advocates. Kathy Kilo Peterson. Please do not go one more day without calling her. How many of you have done that, by the way? It is as simple as saying, hey, I want to thank you for being a part of this show that brings so much positivity. Because again, if they weren't here, folks, I'm letting you know this, we wouldn't have a show. If you weren't watching and they weren't sponsoring and being a part of this, we wouldn't be able to do all the beautiful things that we do. Kathy Kilo Peterson, I just want you to call and say thank you. Can you do that for me? Can you call and say thank you for being a part of the Real Monica Adams Show? I want to give you a look, or have you look, I should say, at my policy. And can you do us a favor and let us know if you can save us money? And I can guarantee you I would be shocked if the answer is not a 100% yes. So here's how you're going to get a hold of her. 636-561-6460. And that is the phone number. There's a QR code on there. And then the website, kkilo.com. What can she do for you? Save you a significant amount of money. And I'm not just, I, look, I don't do smoke and mirrors. I don't blow, you know what. I 100% in giving you the authentic comment from my husband. He said hundreds of dollars monthly, car, home. Now they're doing insurance for me from all the other things that I do with my brand. Just again, the care and the love around. So to Kathy, to Marilyn, and to all, because I haven't had a chance to meet the entire staff, to all of you, thank you for being a part of our regular sponsorships. And then today at four o'clock, I hope I see you this afternoon, grab a non-alcoholic drink, grab some wine, grab some beer, grab a cocktail, a mocktail. I don't care. I just want to celebrate with you today. Spend a little time maybe before you go out to dinner at four o'clock. I'm going to grab my hubby. So you'll see me and Jim along with Chuck Gillentine because Wet Your Whistle Wednesday has returned and that is brought to you by our friends at Defiance Ridge Vineyards in Augusta. What are we going to do today? We're going to feature Chardonnay, not Chardonnay, but Chardonnay. What is Chardonnay? And we'll hear and we'll taste it. Again, I'm hoping that a lot of you get a chance to get out there, not only just for a great bottle of wine, but maybe to spend a little time with us because you can definitely, you can guarantee that you'll be with me on this day, Ruby Lee, July 4th, live in concert. Tickets are on sale right now. They're selling really good, but I'm hoping we can sell it out. I know that they can at least have 700 there all around. I'm hoping that the weather's gorgeous. It's, she's going to turn up the heat for sure. She will perform from 7.30 to 9. And as I said, after 9 o'clock, stick around. Oh, for the fireworks. I love fireworks. It brings me back to being a little kid again. And according to Chuck, they have dual fireworks that will take place. So I know some of you have purchased your tickets already. If you haven't, please do so. Defiance Ridge Vineyards on July 4th. Ruby, by the way, will also be at Rickman Auditorium on April 20th. So I want to thank uh, all that have had an opportunity to get a hold of the Real Monica Adams team asking us to be a part of your events. Uh, you want to book a mobile Monica. I told you I'm giving money away for those of you that turn friends, family members, businesses over to us. And if they become a sponsor, 
They buy a business spotlight. We do a live show from their place. I'm giving away Monica money and that'll allow you to purchase merchandise. Maybe you want to buy a journal for yourself or others, or maybe it's a jacket or it's a a new t-shirt. Our jackets, by the way, this is what they look like and they will be available to you at the Working Women Show and then we'll be putting them on our website as well. T-shirts, jackets, and journals. That's how we're launching everything with the Know Your Value brand. I'm super excited. It's not just for women, by the way. We have men's and women's jackets and men's and women's shirts. But we're going to have uh, money for you. You can use it for merchandise. You can use it for life coaching. You can use it for personal training. It's that simple. It's my way of saying thank you. And uh, again, because you are so dedicated to the show, I know that you want to see your friends and family showcased. So that's an opportunity. You just get a hold of me, say, I've got this person, connect us. So I'm not just doing a little cold call, connect us and have them as part of our show. I would really love that. Seeing some good new names here this morning. And of course, our old friends that have been on and dedicated to the show for a while. Inspiration galore. I love that. Good morning to you, Kim. Happy Palestine's Day, Kim says. Is that for pals? Is that for uh, best friends? I can now say I do love myself. Way to go. It took me many years to even think of myself. Well, that's great progress. Way to go, Kim. Not all the time like I should, Julie says. Monica, you are on your way to change the world for sure. Crystal Gale, I love you. Thank you so much. Uh, Crystal Gale, I can't see a picture on here. It's just it, Unfortunately, it doesn't show me people's pictures. So I don't know if that's my cousin, Crystal, or if that's somebody else. And I don't know if Crystal's still on. But Crystal, if that's my cousin, let me know. I don't know if it is or not. I have a cousin named Crystal, and her middle name's Gale. Crystal Gale with the long, beautiful hair while we were growing up. Uh, I love myself, Rose says. There's no two people alike. We all have our own fingerprint. I'm not jealous of anyone, and I'm nobody special. Yes, you are. Everybody's special, but I love life. And every day I try to make it special. Get up and fix yourself up. The trip in life is short. Monica knows what she's talking about. Listen to her. Oh, look at you. I, I need you to say that. You know what? Oh, that's another thing we would love. If you want to send us what you love about this show in little messages, I'd like to start putting that into a promo. So you can send me, um, I, we would love to be uh, kind of landscape instead of up and down. If you want to send us messages and um, hopefully it's a small enough file, send it to me at info at the real Monica I'm going to put it up on the screen just so you can read it. Hit my email address. If you want to send us videos and you want to be a part of future promos, I would just like to have you say what you love about our show, how your life has changed since we kicked this off right here, by the way, March 1st. So we're coming up to a year in just a couple of weeks, a year from the idea. And then in June, 12th, it would be a year from the true brand launching in studio with guests. And that's one of the things I, you know, I was praying last night and this morning, and I'm always searching, soul searching of what you all want to see and hear more of. If it's more of this, let me know. If you like the combination, I asked, uh, I asked this of you a lot. Do you like the combination of guests in studio? Do you like the idea of us having mobile Monica's more? Because that's what I really love. Like I, like I mentioned, we're going to be doing uh, the Defiance Ridge Vineyards Wet Your Whistle Wednesday. I'm going to be out at Augusta, or Defiance, I'm sorry, uh, in Defiance at Defiance Ridge Vineyards once a month with him in person. And then he joins me. And that's the beauty of the link that anybody can join from anywhere around the world right here that we could do this together. I like being in studio. I want to know if you all do. It's really important that you get the kind of show that you want. But I also love the idea of us bringing the show to different businesses and doing more of having fun and being able to be a part of your business live. One of the things we're doing tomorrow, Positive Talk Time is back. We'll be featuring Theo. That's the dog that's up for adoption. Again, I'm trying to get these dogs adopted. I'm falling in love with all of them. I don't know how you can't. I really don't know how you don't want to take all of them home. But we're going to feature as many as we possibly can. I'm going to take pictures and videos when I'm there. And if they get snapped up, and somebody adopts them and gets their forever home. That's really what it's all about. So positive talk time tomorrow. We will be having fun with you all about positivity and teaching all of us that are pet owners what we really should be doing so that they see the kind of unconditional love that they give us. So Jessica Cook and I will be live for you tomorrow in Cottleville at Yuppie Puppy Pet Spa. You want to come by and say hi, go ahead and do so. Yuppie Puppy Pet Spa, remember them for grooming. Remember them for your doggy daycare, for your boarding. You want to go get some treats. They've got all of it there for you 
absolutely love them. And Yuppie Puppies Forever Rescue, where they're rescuing these incredible dogs that deserve a forever home. Um, Mobile Monica, we also have coming up for you at Sister Sandwich Shop on February 22nd. I'd love to see you there. Come grab a sandwich. It's right there at Devonshire and Macklin. We were just at the coffee house, which is right next door. The sisters own both of those. But come get some lunch. I like to do our shows live in the morning, but I also love to do some bonus shows for you. So afternoon, happy hour, evening shows, all of that. We got a lot of fun things coming up, by the way. Uh, Carrie said, Janice has been an awesome mentor. She's one of the people who has taught me how to not only love myself, but forgive myself. Yes, it doesn't matter what's happened in the past. It's there for a reason. History should not repeat itself. You have to learn from mistakes. You have to learn from your wrong so that it doesn't repeat itself, manifest itself in the present and the future. Forgive yourself. Forgive those who wronged you because you will never truly leave. Excuse me. You will never truly love. Understand this. Maybe even write this down. Grab your journal right now. You will never truly love unless you release the power from those who have wronged you, from those who have had unbelievable control over your life, but it's because you've allowed them to. I know it's hurt. I know there's some bad things that have happened to all of us. Trust me. I've had some horrible things and I've talked about them in my past shows. I've talked about them when in my years during radio, but I will not one more day give power to those who have hurt me. Why would you? You're not truly living when that happens. Understand you cannot be this beautiful butterfly. You will stay the caterpillar unless you are able to blossom from learning from the past and not letting that history repeat. So if you've been in horrible relationships, you've let people walk all over you. You've been in abusive relationships. You have had people hurt you left and right. It is now up to you to take the reins and say, no more. Step out of it, lean in around people who you care about, they care about you, they can help guide you away from that, whatever it looks like. And thank you, by the way, to the person yesterday that was so raw and telling us, was it yesterday? Yes, telling us that uh, after 30 years, finally got away from the abuse, made the phone call to say enough is enough. Again, we want to get you away from the battered abuse of relationships to find the love again. I know it's going to be hard because someone's beaten you down so much. They belittle you. As I said, the people who do that hate themselves and all they know how to do is hate on others. But there is light out of that incredible darkness. You got to believe that. Believe in the power of happiness. Believe in the power of love. It exists. So yes, you've got to forgive yourself. Carrie, I'm so glad that you've had an opportunity to do that. That way you can be the best version of you. She recommended to watch your show and go to your retreat. Then you have become another mentor who has taught me so much. Thank you. By the way, there is a retreat uh, coming up. I just want to remind you, I posted it on my page. I am thrilled to be a collaborator with Sally Drake and so many others. Uh, including some people who have even been on our show, uh, the woman that's behind the Grit, the Tenacity Grit series, uh, Jennifer, she'll be there. Many other people. March 1st through the 3rd at Innsbruck Resort. I would love for you to come. You could come for the day. You could stay for the weekend. You can do, you do you, whatever makes sense to you, but it's time for you to heal. And that's usually what happens at retreats. Uh, also the, uh, the cultivating a vision part three, by the way, is also coming up. That'll be on the 21st next Wednesday, 6 PM to 7 30 or 7 PM Eastern time. Kasha Sitars and myself, we started those in December. They are hugely successful. And that hour and a half, I want you to really be focused Really make sure there's no distractions. Have your pen and paper. R really absorb what we're trying to get across to you so that each time you come, and if you can come monthly, that's really what we want, that we will be there for you each month. Tickets have been sold already. Uh, the ticket prices will go up after this Friday. They'll go up to $40. So if you haven't purchased your tickets yet, do it right now. Literally right now, when this show wraps up, go to the realmonicaadams.com, click on events, go to the calendar and click on the 21st and you'll see it there. Cultivating a vision for you. Part three, if you missed one and you missed two, it doesn't matter. You will not be behind because we just take it from there. If you've been in one and two, understand that it is not going to look the same. We are just building and building and building for you to carve out the vision for you, cultivating it. It's what it means. It's how do you feel like you can draw it to yourself? So if you missed one and two, by the way, I do have those recordings. You can purchase those for $10. It doesn't mean that you have to 
But if you want to feel like, well, what was it? You know, what did I miss in December? What did I miss in January? Those are available. Just reach out to me uh, through my email address, info at the real monicaadams.com. And if you have topics or guests that you would like us to discuss uh, and feature on the show, please send me a message to that email as well. Again, I just want this to be what you want out of it, what you want out of this show. Uh, Julia Kohlberg. Uh, are you new to the show? I hope so. Uh, I haven't, I don't recognize that name. She says, I love myself. I need to stop letting what others say about me matter. I only need to answer to God. What other people think of you is none of your business. Have you ever heard that before? I think it's one of the most profound statements because we all sit there and want to people please. We all want to assume what other people are thinking of us. It's none of our business. Let them go away on their miserable way. They want to be catty. They want to talk about you. Let them. Because all that's happening is they're swirling in darkness. They're swirling in hatred. You're over here not caring about what they think, and you're living your best life. You're living your best version. Does not matter what they think of you. They don't know the true version of you. If they don't like you, they don't know you. They're missing out, aren't they? They are. I am kind. I am enough. That's a good comment. Easy for me to give advice and hard for me to fool my own advice. I'm changing my mindset today. I can't, I'll be the best and do my best. Remember to follow your dreams, laugh out loud and always be you. I need to remember I count and I'm blessed and I'm good. See, say these things. And as I speak them out loud, take them in. If somebody else wrote them, it doesn't matter. That's what this community is for. They write, I speak it and you absorb and hopefully pull it into you. Stephanie says, I love myself. When I started over, I became a caring, loving person. I'm happy by myself. When you're happy by yourself, watch what happens around you. If you're ready, and if God says it's time, again, whatever your beliefs are, the universe says it's your time, then watch what happens when the path opens up. Not just love relationships. Again, I keep stressing. Today is not just about the love hallmark holiday. It's the love of a new friend walking in. Now, look, a lot of you have gotten to know, and if you haven't, hopefully you come out and you'll get a chance to meet Michelle this weekend. Michelle and I met back in, we believe, 2009. We went on this incredible vacation together, which really changed the course of our friendship. We went to Cabo San Lucas in December of 2010. And from that day forward, she became one of my dearest and best friends. And my life has forever eternally been blessed because she decided one day to stop uh, what she was doing, come over, get on a piece of cardio equipment, stand by me and ask me some questions. And we started this friendship. We started a conversation. But what happened that day? I could have been closed off. I could have been pretentious. I could have been full of myself. And I could have said, yeah, thanks, and moved on. And then this friendship would have never happened. Think about every move you make in life, every decision you choose to make alters the course of your life. Are you friendly? Do you smile? Do you look somebody in the eye? Do you tell someone they matter? Do you give somebody a compliment? What level do you decide to go as a human being that then changes every person that you run into? I'm talking grocery store. I'm talking running into Walgreens. I'm talking being at the gym, walking on a path on a gorgeous day like today, which again is going to be amazing. What is the weather? 60s for today, low 60s. The record high today is actually in the mid 70s, which is crazy. We're not going to hit that, but low 60s, sunshine. So get out, get on a path, go to a park. Every person that you walk by, look them in the eye, say good morning. Say good afternoon whenever you go for the walk. I'm going to take the dogs for a walk later today after some of my meetings. And I can guarantee you, it's one thing that I've always done. I want to show that St. Louis has love. There's so much hate that's talked about in our city. And I want people to fall in love again. I want them to fall in love with the city that I grew up in. Not the city of St. Louis, but St. Louis, right? I grew up in Florissant. It's a part of St. Louis County. But I want you to love St. Louis. I want us to not fear going into the city again. I just am trying to do everything that I can to help that along. And a lot of times it's, who do we put in office? What are they doing? It's those levels, right? Bill, good morning to you. Carrie Ginther, that's a new name. Terry, oh yeah, I was gonna say, fool sounded wrong, follow, okay. Um, Tony, good morning, Monica, happy Valentine's Day. Laura said, good morning, have a beautiful Valentine's. Sherry, I call my husband princess when he's complaining. I give him three times to vent, then he gets a crown on his head, removes the tension usually, and reminds him to stay silly. We all do need to laugh at ourselves more, don't we? We need more humor. It's one of the things I've always looked for in a relationship in my friends and in romantic relationships. Make each other laugh more. Love on each other, sure, but make each other laugh. There's nothing to me, nothing sexier than someone who can make me laugh. Jim does make me laugh. He is a big goofball. I tell him he's goofy as all get out. Not the slapstick humor, but when he doesn't take himself so seriously, 
it's just this draw of energy, isn't it? I, I love humor. Um, morning. Working Women's Show is on. We're getting ready to give away the ultimate VIP package. Thank you for tuning in. I love the fact that they are part of the show. I get the Fab Fit Box. Oh, I used to, I love that. Gosh, um, oh gosh, what was her name? Um, Lisa Rinna. Lisa Rinna used to be a spokesperson for them. Fab Fit Box, and they had a chance to get a journal. So I start today with it, and it has the word for the day, a bunch of what you have talked about. Oh, they're taking things from me. Well, you need more journals. You need these. And by the way, these are not the only ones. These have um, the tree of life on them, but we also have these really beautiful embossed ones and so many different colors. Go to our website, go to the shop, and you can purchase your own journal. If you can't come to the Working Women's Show, you can't come to Sister Sandwich Shop, you can't come to Yuppie Puppy uh, next month when I go out to Defiance Ridge, if you can't go to an event that I'm going to or I'm going to be live somewhere, then purchase your journal online because I don't want you not writing your thoughts down. You've got to take it from here and put it down on paper. I say this regularly. You have to hear it on a regular basis to understand that's the true science behind it. That is how worlds change. That is how the life will change. Good morning. Happy Valentine's Day, Dana. I hope you had a wonderful birthday yesterday. Kim says, yes, happy pal. Okay, so it's about friendships. Stephanie, happy Valentine's Day. Great inspiration. Oh, so Crystal Gale. Okay, it's not my cousin, but uh, I do have a cousin named Crystal Gale. Hey, we're cousins. We're all family here, right? Jillian, I'm not in a relationship, but would love to be. It's very hard to find a good man these days. No, it's not. You're thinking it's too hard. There are wonderful people all around. Sometimes you have to not be so picky. You have to set your standards, but look at what the standards are. Is it all about aesthetics? Nope. It should be about what someone's bringing from in here, right? What is in their soul? What is in their heart? It's more of that. There is so much of our life that if I went back and looked at people that I passed on because of looks, I would have said, you know what? I should have given them more of a chance. We learn, we grow. Again, it's all about if somebody could teach me earlier on, and that's what I'm doing to this 21-year-old. I told her, I love all the advice that she's getting. I would have loved for someone to have stepped in and been that mentor. Uh, I did promise to say that. My mom and dad, did they have the ultimate hallmark relationship? No. But my mom had such love for her faith. And that's really where it starts from. The faith, God, universe, whatever level of religion or whatever your spirituality is, something guiding you. That's your first connection and love. For me, it's that. That's what guides me. Then I looked at my mom and dad and what they went through. But the staying power. Too many people are so just casually thinking it's okay to just throw somebody away. I mean, that's so many levels of things that I don't even want to get into in this world about how people just throw things, throw human beings, throw animals away. We've got to stop that mentality. You have to actually give the weight of the value to these things that you think are worth throwing away. They're not. They're worth fighting for. So Jillian, you'll find it, but you have to right now wipe away the thought process that it's hard to find good men or good women out there. We're talking millions in our world. No, there's a lot of good ones, but you have to dig a little deeper, look a little deeper, look into yourself, be more introspective first, and then watch what happens. Sometimes there's just a little bit too much on what is not the ultimate focus. Good morning, Michelle Cardosi. I'm very content with myself. I'm very content with my Lord. I say, let them talk. Haters will be haters, Richard. You're right. And your life would have been so empty and hollow without me. There's the, there's the goofball. There's Michelle. There's her humor. Um, yeah. Okay. Anyway, Tina, good morning. Hope to see you on Saturday. Well, I'll be there. Hopefully you will be as well. Hi, Anna. Well, that I think, uh, hopefully it says, who are you? I don't know if that's spam, but Anna, wherever you are, Love to you. Happy Valentine's Day to Jackie, my mother. Yes, I found my husband when I wasn't looking. Exactly, Julie. And that's exactly what happens. When you're not looking, watch what just comes walking into your life. So many times people believe, I got to look, I got to look, I got to look at this person and that person. And 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 nope, he doesn't fit the mold. He's, he's not for me or she's not for me. And I, I many times would ask people, well, what are you talking about? Is it the way they look? It's the way they dress. It's the way their voice sounds. 
are you being too picky? That's a little over the top, isn't it? I want you to just be around, right? Just take in somebody's energy. You might be surprised. I remember going on dates and I, I do want to ask that before we wrap up. Your kids or you, where are you dating these days? Can you answer me that before we do our big giveaways? Where's everybody dating? Because I heard on the news this morning that they're bringing speed dating back. The quick six minutes, get to know somebody quickly, see if there's enough where you're intrigued. Maybe they make you laugh or maybe there's something beautiful in the sparkle of their eyes. Or maybe it's the gorgeous smile or it's the energy that you want to come back after the six minutes going around, talking to everybody to then take the conversation deeper. Speed dating. Have you ever done it? If not, looks like it's coming back. And is it apps? Is it dating sites? Where are you meeting people? Are you meeting in a bar? Are you meeting in a gym? Are you involved in organizations? What is it that you love? You need to start surrounding yourself uh, with organizations or businesses or events. That's where you're going to find the people, whether it's just a friend. I'm not going to take that word out. i uh, sorry. I'm going to take the word just out. If it's a friend or it's an actual romantic relationship that builds into something lifelong, or it's maybe for a year and then you learn from it, you learn who you are, they learn who they are. If it doesn't work, don't harbor ill feelings towards the person. It wasn't meant to be. It's a reason. It's a season. It's a lifetime. You have to learn something from that. We've all been in multiple relationships. I've dated a lot of guys before I found my husband and I have learned something about myself. Here I said that I've learned something about myself before I learned anything about them. I learned who I am. I learned that I could maybe go back and those people that it didn't work with. I'd love to go back and say, you know what? I apologize for not showing my authentic self. I couldn't give all to you until I fell in love with every aspect of me. And I really do. I love the human being that I am because I do truly care about every person that comes in contact with me, the nurturing side of me, not the people pleasers. You hear how I said that? The nurturing side of me that truly does care. I am real. I am authentic. And if you all that are following have people who say, ah, I don't like her. She's too positive uh, or, or she seems fake. There's no way she can be that happy. They're wrong. This is truly me. Anybody who knows me knows that this is me. I will give you all of me, the goofy side, the serious side, the caring side. I want you to give all of that. And by the way, let's do this before we wrap up. Show that earlier on. Don't be afraid to expose yourself. Don't be so afraid to get hurt. So what? You get hurt. You move on. You grow from it. Put yourself out there more. You might be surprised. It might not be hurt. That happens so much. Uh, right in front of my face. Michelle, I'm sure that goes both ways. You both seem to be good friends to each other. We are. We are. We love each other dearly. I found my husband when I wasn't looking. Yep. Thank you, Michelle, for all the hard work you do. Exactly. Do I not say that enough? I'm going to say it one more time. I love you, Michelle. Thank you for everything you do. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Not just Michelle, but Lori, Hannah, Zach, George. This team has been incredible. And then my husband, for the days that he has stepped in and been my field producer and everything. Again, I'm, I'm eternally blessed for everybody that's around me. Kathy, I love being single, but a guy I met at church, things changed. Church, there you go. Take time to celebrate your successes. I have a hard time seeing how far I have come in my small business. People compliment me and I struggle to accept the compliment. I'm working on that. Do it. Do it. You can love yourself. Take the compliment. You deserve it. <laughs> I love you. Take the compliment. Okay, everybody think about don't glamorize Hollywood. It's not about the relationships in Hollywood. You don't really know them. All right. You see them on the small screen or you see them on the big screen. You think they have the ultimate love. And then all of a sudden you're like, oh my gosh, you ripped my world apart. So-and-so was dating this person and they're not together anymore. Oh my gosh, they had the ultimate love. Did they? If they did, they'd stay together. Stop glamorizing Hollywood. Look around you. Take in the relationships that are around you. Maybe it's your parents. Maybe it's an aunt and uncle. Maybe it's your grandma and grandpa. Maybe it's your best friend. I don't care. Maybe it's you. Maybe others are looking at the relationship that you have. Well, whatever that is, do not take that for granted. Understand that the love that they're showing you and them looking at you and wanting more about what you have and what you provide to the world, don't take advantage of that. Please just share what it is that's made your relationship so successful. That's what it's about. All right. It is 8.02. We've got some big giveaways to give to you. We're going to give away the ultimate VIP package to the Working Women Show, which is coming up this weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Purchase your tickets at wwssonline.com. If you cannot win the tickets, 
purchase them. There's also even a code out there for you to get discounted tickets. So go online and find that all out. You'll see the main stage. You'll see all that's going on. I can't wait to be there with you. It's going to be so much fun. Girlfriends, I don't care if you have couples you want to come out with because guys are out there as well. Yes, it's working women, but I like the fact that men get a chance to see what we're all up to. The fun we get a chance to have. Get ready to laugh all weekend long. I can't wait to see you at our booth. We'll be right next to the rescue animals. So come see us. Come talk to us. I can't wait to spend the entire weekend with you. The meet and greet, someone's going to win coming up right after the break. We've got our Sugarloaf Farm giveaway and two tickets to the 15th anniversary event with STL Wine Girl. All of that coming up when we return. You are truly an incredible human being and just what you're doing is so inspiring. This was really a cathartic experience for me. So I appreciate you, love you. It's been an honor to not only just be here on, on set with you, but just to sit in your presence. You inspire everyone around you, from your motivational speaking to your podcast here to just being the human that you are. It's just such a joy to be able to see you at this point in your career really following your passion, fulfilling your dreams, and encouraging other people to do the same. I feel that I've been missing out. I believe God places people like you in people's lives for a reason. You have definitely been a God wing for me. I love that. Don't you love that phrase, a God wink? And I want you to hear that as we wrap up today. There are God winks all around you. There are blessings all around you. For those of you that are tuning in and maybe never say anything, it's okay. You can be quiet in the beginning. You can absorb. And one day I hope that you open up your heart and I hope that you say something. And I hope it starts with the love for yourself. And then watch what happens. Just watch how life changes and bring a little faith into your life. Again, on this Ash Wednesday, I know a lot of you are heading off to church. Again, whether it's a quick drive in ashes or you actually take in the service, maybe you're going later today. And then for the 40 days of Lent, if that's something that, uh, you know, that, that is a part of your life, whatever it is that you're giving up just really absorb yourself into it, that it's not just a fleeting, oh, I'll give this up. No, it's really actually meaning something by that, that uh, you're, you're connected once again to what the meaning is all about, to your faith. We're gonna do a little uh, faith in our wrap up here before I do the giveaway. And today's is actually 2 Timothy 1, verse three. I thank God whom I serve from my forefathers with pure conscience that without ceasing, I have remembrance of thee in my prayers night and day, greatly desiring to see thee, being mindful of thy tears, that I may be filled with joy. Are you filled with joy? Have you found joy in your life? If you haven't, please do us all a favor today and in days to come. Please ensure that you don't hate on others, that on this day, when you feel like it's a day for lovers and you're not in a relationship, that you don't look around you and hate on each other. All right. Remove the hate. Eradicate the hate. You all ready? I need a little drum roll. Drum roll, please. That wasn't very good. <laughs> All right, we've got our winners. Let me start with the sugar loaf package. And thank you, by the way, for tuning in, everybody. Thank you for being a part of it. Teresa, thank you, by the way, for reaching out to me and saying, hey, would you like to do a giveaway? Yes, we do. And we love you and all your products. So Terry Lanham, congratulations. Terry, love on yourself today. You are going to enjoy all the natural products from Sugar Loaf. You are the winner of the Sugar Loaf Valentine's gift basket. And we will reach out to you and let you know where you need to go to pick that up. Congratulations to you. And drum roll, please. STL Wine Girl event coming up on the 26th. 
Oh, well, this is going to be fun. Brandon Franco. Who is Brandon? Brandon is the husband of Dr. Sarah Franco. Brandon, congratulations. You were pulled out of the hat for the Monday, February 26th event for the 15th anniversary celebration with STL Wine Girl. That's going to be a lot of fun. I might have to buy some purchase, uh, purchase some tickets to that. Uh, Monday nights usually aren't my best to go, but that would be a lot of fun. Brandon and Sarah are going off to that. Uh, Julie wasn't able to use hers, so we put that back into the pot. And then here's the big one, the ultimate VIP package. And I do hope you can use this. Going Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, going to the meet and greet on Friday night, going to the chef's table or the big makeover on the fashion stage. The winner is... Kelly Jennings. Congratulations to you, Kelly. You are the ultimate VIP winner. A lot of love that we're sharing with you. A lot of love that we're spreading to you today on this love day. So congratulations. Sugarloaf Farm said you are so welcome. Julie Fabian says congratulations. Thank you, Michelle, for the drum roll. Good morning to Wayne Johnson. If you're just tuning in, go ahead and go back and watch the show. Julie, congratulations being married uh, in May, 39 years, she says. Julie Purcell married 39 this May, together 43. She says, I love you so much to her sweetheart. Again, just share that love out there. Congratulations to all of you. Terry said, it's awesome. I just love, I love giving things away. We're going to do more and more and more of that. So congratulations to each and every one of you. This is the day that many people have an opportunity to show love just because it's on the calendar and it says to love on everybody. But I'm hoping that you understand something. It's not just about love today. It's about starting the love today and continuing it. Don't let it end. Carry it forward. That's really what matters. So I always say it, and I'm just going to add in a little bit more today. Please do me a favor. Go out. Enjoy this gorgeous weather. Be aware, by the way, that as I said, on Friday, it now looks like more snow. So we're going to ask for Beckett to come on if he's available tomorrow and break it down for us a little bit more. Be aware if you are going to the Working Women Show to dress accordingly. This little meet and greet, I'm not going to be, I don't know if it's a cocktail attire or what it is. I'll find out more about that, but that's not going to happen. I'm going to bungle up because it's going to be a cold one. And coming home on Saturday or Sunday or whenever, just be aware. Hopefully it'll be warm enough on the ground that it won't accumulate too much, but it could be, depending on when it's moving in, could be a messy commute on Friday. So drive carefully, be aware, be loving with the people that are around you. We're not talking about road rage. Get there safely and come enjoy an incredible weekend with us. So we'll do a little what the weather with Beckett Moore tomorrow and Friday, most likely. We'll probably throw that in just so we can be aware of what's happening and what's coming to us. Uh, Nicole, congratulations to all of you. The husband and I will be married 20 Six years in May, together 30. That's a long time. It is. Congratulations to all of you. Be aware that that is a blessing. Each and every one of you, God bless you all. Love you all so very dearly. From the bottom of my heart, thank you. Go out today. Spread the love. Whatever you've learned from today, spread the love, spread the kindness. That's what matters. That's what it's about. And start creating a movement of change. That is what we're here for. Change the course of the way your life would have been simply by being kind, kinder human beings to each and every person. God love you all. Happy Valentine's Day. Invita Health and Wellness, where you can feel your best both inside and out. Invita isn't your typical med spa. They're a multi-specialty medical spa and wellness center serving St. Louis and its surrounding areas. They have ketamine for mental health and pain, IV therapy, medical weight loss, and aesthetics treatments. As board-certified anesthesia providers, Invita can ensure that their advanced treatments are provided safely with minimal to no pain. So let Invita take care of you. Call 314-394-0900. 950 to book an appointment or online in vita healthandwellness.com.